All right, coming up on this episode of Table Culture, Mike and I are going to be discussing King Domino, 2016 game from Bruno Cathala. It's a really fun game, but it's been re-implemented by Queen Domino. We'll get into that in a second, so check the video out. All right, we're back for another episode of Table Culture, the show where we give you recommendations on games you should be playing. Mike and I decided we would do a review on King Domino, 2016 mm -hmm. game. Uh, this one is actually a really fun, light game, I think. Uh, it's, mm -hmm. I find it really easy to get it to the table. I don't know how yeah. you feel about it. but uh, When it was brand new, I, I had a gaming group, and it got to the table so often and so quick that mm -hmm. uh, it was surprising. It kind of mm -hmm. took sort of my gaming scene at the time by storm. Yeah. Uh, but that's one of the other things is it's not just accessible, it's fast. Yeah, like uh, you can play this in 15 minutes. I mean, yeah. it recommends uh, 15 to 30, but mm -hmm. I think you can easily do it in 15 every time. Yeah. I think if you have four players, you can get some uh, analysis paralysis mm -hmm. uh, with with the drafting between rounds. Yeah. Because uh, sometimes the decisions are pretty tense for what you're trying to build within your own kingdom. Considering it's dominoes, I mean, yeah. it's just reskin dominoes. It's funny how, yeah, it's funny how people get so, like, I have this one friend, I'll just make an anecdote. He, he wanted to build his castle in a uh, aesthetically pleasing way. Oh, yeah. And I was like, you're not playing the game right. And he's like, no, 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 no I am, trust me. And then he still did okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That kind of yeah. speaks to the, the variety of ways to win with it. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, it, it, there's a, it's, like I said, it's a dominoes game. Um, you're doing pattern, um, um, it's, you're trying to build patterns effectively, right? right? You also want to make sure that when you're selecting tiles, you're not going too far out of your 5x5, five five because if I were to do this, now I've just lost mm -hmm. this corner spot, right? Cause I well, can't. you could still build here, but you're right. you're this right. is challenging to then get this to match up, right? Yeah, so we could do this, and then we do this. We'll just take these yeah. off for the sake of demonstration. Although, actually, you'd want to... Do that and then right, do this, like right. that. So your forests are together and your sands are together. Yeah, yeah. yeah sorry. For the sake of <laughs> for the sake of s symmetry and showing how the game works. Yeah. Um, maybe put this maybe one, and then we'd have to find yeah. some more oceans, right? Like we put the oceans, something like that. Yeah. But yeah, no. Then you get to this point where. Well, it's yeah. You do have an empty spot, anyways. So there's there's an element of. Of strategy there right like you might end up with mm -hmm. a hole if you're not careful about your five by five shape yeah and even though the tile comes up that has something that's really good it might actually not work for your layout right mm -hmm. yeah so your your two factors for point scoring are number of tiles of a color that are connected in addition to the number of crowns in that area yeah so you multiply a number of crowns by the number of tiles of a color yeah. and then you do that for each tile group and yep. then that's how we determine score end game scoring and i think in most cases you're doing a five by five pattern yeah uh, i think there's a version where you do seven by seven i think um, yeah uh that's the two player yeah and that's actually where king domino uh mm -hmm. not necessarily queen domino although i haven't played it yet mm -hmm. uh that's where king domino really shines mm -hmm. uh this is set up in a two player style game uh because you actually get two meeples rather yeah. than just one in a three or four player Yeah, count. and then you have your associated starting um, tile, and then you build yeah. out around that. Yeah. yeah. And then from that, you each get to take an action. So right now, it's like sequential, but it might come to the point where at one point, I'm ahead of Mike just because of where mm -hmm. I've chosen, right? Yeah. So if I would say I'm going after this one, and then I place it in my tableau, which is slightly off camera, and then yeah. he does, and then I'll take like this yeah. one, right? Yeah. Or no, we flip it after, sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you flip them. Yeah. And then when it is on the placement and drafting, then you would choose which spot you want to go That's to. right, yeah. So after that, we'll choose. So like if I chose yeah. this one, yeah. then he picks his tile I there. Add this to my kingdom. Let's just do that. Mm -hmm. And then I would choose another. And we'll go here because I've got this one coming. Right. And I know it'll amplify the scoring. And then I, I'll select this tile and I will choose this one because I want to get more of the same. So I'll go over here yeah. like this. And then this is, I have no other choice, but this is where the nice balance comes in with this game is that mm -hmm. the weaker cards are typically the, uh, 
the higher numbers. So in a in a two player game, it's a seven by seven because you're going to be using still all the tiles from the box mm -hmm. and building into your kingdom with those. Yeah, and I think there's some like special scoring conditions and variants you can do too, where you're like if you do uh, a, a, a certain pattern, um, if you get a it 100 percent correct, then you get certain points yeah. and things like that. Like there's there's a few ways to to get replayability out of this, right? Yeah. Um, now. Mike and I were talking off camera about Queen Domino, and I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this scheme was actually re-implemented, uh, I think it was last year by Queen yep. Domino? Yeah, 2017. And, and it's a much more expansive version of this. You can play them together, or you can play Queen mm -hmm. Domino, but um, maybe you can just speak a little bit about the differences yeah. between the two. Uh, Queen Domino is really like an extra layer of strategy and sort of meat so mm -hmm. to speak, as far as complexity is concerned. Yeah. Uh, whereas King Domino is very much a, a gateway game. Yeah. Uh, with Queen Domino, uh, you get these different types of tiles that have different buildings on them, and then you can also get, uh, I believe they're called knights, yeah. uh, to go out and then they act as uh, scoring factors for those different regions. Yeah, so it, it just adds another layer to yeah. the game in terms of like how you play it, right? Yeah, and certain ones will also give you uh, special abilities. Mm -hmm. So you get kind of those multi-layered strategies that a lot of people like in uh, more of a, a Euro or more of a complex yeah. game. Yeah, and I think, I think it just demonstrates that there's a lot of foundational elements in this that are really solid. So yeah. the fact that there's, it's been done better and you can kind of s do away with this version, it, I, I think it's a testament to the fact that this will probably continue to be expanded upon and yeah. then eventually there'll be like a big box edition of it. I'm just guessing. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Definitely there'll be the, the king and queen, who knows what they'll call it. Yeah. Uh, but you also mentioned that there's a brand brand new expansion mm -hmm. for King yeah. Domino. Yeah, it's called Age of Giants. And I haven't played it yet, so I can't speak yeah. to how it works exactly, but it is in, it adds on to this. Yeah. So I, th I'm, I think there's additional tiles that you can get um, that are re related to giants. So I think it just adds another type yeah. of tile, but I'd, I, I I'd have to play it before I can give a, a recommendation if yeah. that's any good. I'm not even sure if it's actually hit market yet. Mm -hmm. Has it? I yeah, I don't know. Okay, yeah. I don't so know. check a was it Blue Orange Games yeah. for their their yeah. release date on that expansion if if you've enjoyed Queen, King Domino. Yeah, because it might it might just add another layer to this already. It's already it's already a great, great game on its own, but yeah. they might just add another layer to it, mm -hmm. and then you can decide if you want to keep your King Domino or just get rid of it and just play Queen Domino. Yeah. But at the same time, if you get both, you can combine them, mm -hmm. which is, is really, really cool yeah. uh, for a game to have that sort of standalone expansion mm -hmm. uh, base game yeah, combination. And, and I mean, Bruno Cathal has done lots of other really great gateway mm -hmm. games like this. Like we were talking about Seven Wonders Duel and Five Tribes. And um, and uh, I, I always pronounce that game wrong, but it's Cyclades? Cyclades, yeah. Yeah. Cyclades yeah. yeah, so he's done a few games that are fairly well-known um, that kind of deal with these types of uh, mechanics. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I think you should check it out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that said, this has been uh, Table Culture. Thanks for watching the video. Please leave a like, uh, a comment if you have differing opinions on the game. If you played it, tell us that you loved it. If you didn't like it, you can even tell us why you didn't like it because uh, I'd be curious to know why, uh, what, you, what you don't like about it. And, uh, of course, subscribe to the channel share the video and hit the bell for notifications because we got videos coming out four to five days a week. So that's Table Culture. Thanks for watching. Whereas I've played a lot of older stuff and I'm mm. trying to get playing newer stuff. Yeah. And I'm I'm in between. I'll go. I'll search up some older ones because there's some gems that people just don't know or they don't really yeah. care for just because it doesn't have good art compared to modern yeah, stuff. Yeah, like good right? examples. Attica. Yeah. I was gonna do a review yeah. with Justin on Attica because okay. it's like a classic game and it's yeah. It's I've it's, got a copy. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's such a gem. Mm-hmm.